my name is Jill Harris. I'm the voice of Suleta Mercury in Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch for Mercury. And you are listening to The Gundam Watch. So last night I went and saw Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Freedom. We need to talk about it. General Roby, you're coming in. Begin transmission. Should you accept it now, here's your mission. Take your pilot seat and turn on your television. Logging into the Gundam Watch. What is the Gundam? We're gonna answer that question. From back in the classics to the newer expansion. Explore the lore with Dallas Moore and Branson. Welcome to the Gundam Watch. Mariagare, Mariagare, come and join the Gundam Watch. Mariagare, Mariagare, come and join the Gundam Watch. Brought to you by Geek Devotions comes another podcast to keep your feet in motion. Listen in close and see what's all the commotion. Logging into the Gundam Watch. Dallas and Branson bringing their fandom to you with the passion of the veteran instructing the new. We're diving deep, but the same these views and reviews. Welcome to the Gundam Watch. Hello, Gundam fans, and those who like to become Gundam fans, welcome to the Gundam Watch, a podcast as part of the Geek Devotions Podcast Network, a podcast network, a podcast are devoted to letting people know that they're loved and they cared for. So if you don't watch past this moment, know this, we love you, we care about you, there is a plan and a purpose for your life. Do not give up. So I just finished watching Mostly Gundam Seed Freedom, the movie, last night. And so today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm giving you just kind of a quick initial thoughts. This isn't a full in, full length review. I'm going to try to keep it as spoiler free as possible. But this is just kind of my general thoughts about the film as a whole. And whether or not you guys should try to support it whenever it comes out. So let's let's jump into this conversation. The first thing you need to understand is that this is a direct sequel to... Gundam S Destiny, which is a sequel to Gundam Seed. And I gotta tell you something. Whenever you have an anime movie that is a sequel type of thing, or what's in the in the world, sometimes you worry like, okay, is it really gonna be connected? Is it not gonna be connected? What's happening here? This feels so natural. This story feels so natural following Gundam Seed. I was talking with Celeste after the movie. I said, look, when this comes out on DVD, I want to own this or Blu-ray streaming, whatever you want. <laughs> I want to buy this and I want the two of us because she and I do this thing where we kind of binge series together. Uh, it's kind of our, our vacation deconnect uh, uh, thing that we do. So I want to have a day or a week rather where Celeste and I sit down and we binge Gundam Seed all the way through from C to destiny to this movie, because it all seems to fit so very, very well. Of course, the question becomes with it being so connected, how much do you need to know in order to enjoy the film? And I gotta tell you this, it's, it, yeah, it, you need to know something about Gundam Seed before you watch S Destiny. At least watch a couple YouTube videos to explain the series. Um, <clears throat> I watched all of Gundam Seed and S Destiny. My sister who went with us, she watched Gundam Seed and S Destiny. Celeste, however, all she has done is read the manga to Gundam Seed, the entire manga. And she found herself in times where she was confused. She wasn't sure who some characters were. There are some characters that, because life has changed, they're in a different role than what she remembers in the manga of Gundam Seed. And so she had a hard time identifying certain individuals. But... With that taking place, she wasn't entirely lost. They do a great job of giving you enough context clues of the world around you and explain some stuff with some very quick flashbacks that you do got to pay attention to for you to be able to go, okay, I'm tracking. I understand sort of what's happening here. It is not one of those things that you can come in and just check out. You've got to pay attention. But if you pay attention, you can keep up with the movie. But keeping up with the movie is an interesting phraseology of itself because this is a very very fast-paced movie. Not to say there aren't moments where it's kind of slow and it drags, but if you, if I could put it this way, like many Gundam movies that have been out there, I'm looking at you, F91, but they have taken what could be a script that would have been a whole series and they compressed it into a movie. The difference is they did this well. Again, I love Gundam F91. I have some nostalgia feelings from F91, <clears throat> but this, they came out with the intentions of creating a movie that contained the series. And they did a great job of creating that world so that it followed along. So you could, um, it, it didn't it didn't just hold back. There weren't just moments where you're just like, good night, just continue on already. 
it kept the story moving. That said, it did have your familiar um, series tropes. It starts off with a big battle. Things are going on. <clears throat> There's a new enemy that's introduced very quickly. Then there is a portion, and we all know this, that it hits that right about episode five or six, where you hit two or three episodes of discourse, where they're setting up more of the world and trying to explain things. And you hit that about 10% within the film, they hit that. And there's this whole little discourse and they're explaining the world, explaining some of the dynamics, explaining some of the power struggles that are taking place. But they do it in such a way that it holds your attention. I'm not saying that it was perfect, but it held my attention all the way through. And when the action kicks in, good night, does it ever kick in? It is nonstop go, 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 go. And did I mention go? <laughs> the battle scenes were amazing. They were fun. They're action packed. You gotta kind of, again, pay attention. You gotta know a couple characters because they are moving so fast as you see not just your normal people, Zaft and the Foundation and all of these other groups in Compass, but now there's a new group that you're having to deal with. And you're trying to figure out what's happening with that situation. And it all kind of crescendos into this amazing final fight scene that is mm, a beautiful, beautiful fight scene. Now, as far as the animation, I know some people, you're very much like, you're very traditionalist, you want the 2D animation. That was one of the beauties of the original Gundam Seed series was that it was all 2D animation. It was really well done. They do mix in quite a bit of 3D within this. And it's kind of an awkward situation because sometimes you'll see a 2D uh, drawing of some of the mechs and then all of a sudden there will be a 3D within certain fight scenes. I'm not really sure why this is a thing. This seems to be a, a trend that's taking place within anime films as a whole, where they're trying to morph in the 3D stuff. And I get there's reasonings behind it. And I can see that some of the fast-paced fight scenes, I don't think they would have worked as well it, it, the way that they did it if it was done 2D, if that makes sense. I think they needed the 3D animation for some of the fight scenes. However... <clears throat> Was it distracting a couple times? I think one or two times it was, but for the majority of the time, it was it was pretty nice. It was it was exciting to take part in. Prior to this showing us all, they actually had an interview with the director, and he said that one of the things he was big about doing was trying to include some stuff that original fans could really walk in and enjoy, like the little little Easter eggs, not just to the original Gundam Seed, but original Gundam franchise. And that's what I've always loved about Gundam Seed in the first place is that it feels like more of a parallel universe to the original Gundam universe than a just a flat out new thing all together. You know what I'm saying? Like Gundam or uh, Iron Blood Orphans, Gundam Wing, uh, G Fighter, all those things. Those are just like, here's Gundam in name and then it just runs. This is a Parallel universe, if you will. But what's interesting is, so with that parallel universe, you always have these things you're like, okay, that's that's a Zaku, you know? <laughs> that's that's this, that's this. There's these things you're like, man, this goes back to it. And there's this nice upgraded nostalgia feeling that you're getting at the same time. But the, there's a couple of things they dropped. I'm going, what is this? I don't want to give spoilers, but Atherin shows up at one point piling something. I never expected him to pilot. And I was like, why is that? <laughs> Why is this there? And it was it was shock, but it was fun. All the small things. If you are a Gundam fan, you are going to have so much fun watching the drops of references to the previous Gundam uh, Seed series, but also previous Gundam stuff. And just it, the whole thing around, it was fun. It was exciting. And the, the story itself was great also. There was a really good story. As you see this um, this new faction rise up. And there again, you have the eternal struggle of, of, of freedom versus destiny and what that means. And then you also have a, a, a kind of a, a interesting little interaction between Lacus and, and, and uh, Kira. And their relationship is shaken. And they're having to deal with that and what that looks like. Like as they strive to, you know, they love each other and they've grown together, but now there's something splitting them apart and they're trying to fight for that. And it was really, really well done. I was invested in the story of Kira and Lacus trying to work things out throughout this movie. And the supporting cast coming together to help in that situation in one fashion or another. And it wasn't forced. It wasn't ham-fisted. It was just a very natural outgrowth of the story that they've been telling for well over 20 years. 
since the original Gundam, uh, Gundam Seed. Now, to be perfectly honest, my personal highlight of this, my personal highlight of this movie experience is multifold. One, I got to go see it with my sister and my wife. And uh, I, this is just a special thing for me for, for various reasons. Part one is Celeste, you know, she's she's new to Gundam. She's been enjoying it. She, Gundam Seed was one of her very first mangas she ever read. One of her first shonen mangas she ever read. And then Demera, my sister and I, those of you who listen to, to the Gundam Watch, you know, we grew up on Gundam. And we love Gundam. And Gundam Seed was one of those ones that she and I spent many a late night going one more episode one more episode i just got back from college i had the collection and i moved back home and and demer and i we watched gundam seed and s destiny all the way through and so there was a lot of great nostalgia moments for for me as a whole as i watched it with my sister and with my bride and but then another cool thing happened afterwards uh as we were leaving there was a group of people who didn't know each other no idea who they are <laughs> and they had no idea who other people were and they found themselves in a corner at, at the theater trying to leave just talking about the movie talking about the great things that they saw this movie helped to create a community on the spot and it was i love that i love that experience one of the reasons why i love going to cons and doing things is because there are our we our interests are ignited and we have people to talk with so many of us within the anime community within the geek culture we don't have people to really just geek out on some of the stuff and so when we're in a space like this something beautiful happens community takes place and i absolutely loved it so i will have a full-fledged review of this on the Geek Devotions website, geekdevotions.com, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, here within the next few days. I'm waiting for a couple things to come in. Uh, my sister's going to provide a, a paragraph for it uh, just to give an official review breakdown of it. But this is kind of my initial knee jerk. This was a good movie. I encourage you to go check it out. Just say it. <laughs> uh, possibly uh, this week is supposed to be Celeste's turn to do the episode of Geek Devotions on the Geek Devotions YouTube channel. But I may do something on this. Uh, I got something cooking up here. But uh, I want to hear from you guys. Have you seen the movie yet? Did you enjoy it? Leave a comment down below and let me know. And then that's just kind of a question of the week for you guys. What Gundam series that you love would you like to see people do? A movie off of done well <laughs> caveat done well this was done done very well so let me know i love you guys so very much until next time stay devoted peace and love